Hi guys, welcome to day four. I'm thinking that for day four and five, I'd like to go over some of the basic content from my new book, which is all about conversion. Because this really is the some of the, the essence to what's going to make you guys a lot more effective um, as web designers. So normally on day five of the week we would be looking at our own projects, but I think it would be much more useful to, to get some more of the groundwork out of the way. So what I'm going to be presenting to you today is some material that I've put together to present um, on the topic of website conversion, because that's basically what we're talking about. So the, the title for, these, um, for this presentation is How to Get Business and Websites. Basically, we're looking at the, the fundamentals of how to get more business, more leads, more conversions, what, whatever it is. This is going to be very important for your websites, and it's going to be very important for your clients' websites as well. So there will be probably a short series of presentations now. I'm going to look at what's wrong with web design right now. I'm also going to look at a new perspective. How do we need to shift our thinking about what websites are and what websites do. And that comes into two areas. Firstly, designing for more traffic and also designing for more conversions. I believe that it's a web designer's job to create websites that get traffic and convert that traffic. It's not our job to make websites that look good. That's called graphic design or art. And that's not the same as, as the web designer's job. Your job is, is to get business for your clients and you do that with two ways, traffic and conversions. So fundamentally what's wrong with web, web design today? Basically, I mean I've been doing this for 15 years and websites in that time have pretty much been built mostly the same way and one of the ways that you design a website is that you look at what your competitors are doing and copy that. Now, as we said with the, uh, with the herd that's a really bad idea, because if you look like your competitors, you sound like your competitors, then basically no one's got a reason to pick you over them. They're just as likely to pick them over you. The, the way to get somebody's attention is to show them they're going to get exactly what they want when they come to you. Historically, a client decides they need a website or need a new website, and they approach a designer, they hire a designer, they brief the designer, the designer produces a website, and they go away. There's normally some some backwards and forwards discussion about, you know, this is what I think and that's what you think and it all comes down to personal taste. That's okay. There's nothing particularly wrong with it. It's just not a very effective way to get traffic to websites. I call this the first best guess approach. So if the designer is dominant in the relationship, then you'll get the designer's first best guess. If the client is dominant in the relationship, you'll get the client's best guess, or you'll get a combination of one person's guess and another person's guess, or lots of people's guesses. Either way, it's all guesses, because unless you build websites around what you actually know, rather than what your opinion is, then that's all you're going to have. You're just going to have a guess. Another phrase you might hear as well is HIPPO, which is an acronym, stands for the highest paid person's opinion. So you have a meeting, and the highest paid person in the room generally gets the most respect. Either way, you're just ending up with somebody's guess, and it's a very bad way to do it. So what's wrong with this? Well, how I'm going to I'm going to show you that it's bad at getting traffic to your website, and it's also very bad at converting generally, because it's not based on the facts. So what more can you do? Well, there's a lot more that you can do. So I'm going to start talking about a completely different approach to making websites that is not based on anybody's guesswork. As we've already mentioned before, web design is very broad. It's actually, web design is marketing. It's marketing in the web medium. And so, I mean, we could have called this Ben Hunt's Pro Web Marketing course just as much, although you are going to be fully qualified designers as well. But to me, design in its highest form as the creation of a solution to a problem is perfectly valid. So a client comes to you, their problem is not they need a new website, their problem is they need some business. And if you take that on as your as your goal, then you will be more likely to attract a client because you're going to be speaking their language and you are more likely to serve their needs over time 
and and also um, I would add get a lot more work because I'm not a, I'm not a believer in client visits you you design a website you deliver the website you go away that's not a very effective way to do business because actually you want to be doing a lot of work for the same client you want to be working for a client over many months if you if you do a job for a client and then they go away then you've then got the job of doing more sales and getting more clients in which is not very cost effective general rule of thumb is that it's seven times more expensive to find a new client than it is to sell to an existing client so the new approach is also very very good for you as a web designer as well as being good for a client okay so I really really need you to get this picture very clearly success as a website is down to two things only two things traffic and conversion what does conversion mean? Well, it depends on the goals of the website. If it's an e-commerce site, it's sales. If it's a marketing site, it's maybe to get people to um, to get new leads, to fill in a form, pick up the phone, drive potential prospects. It could be to sign up for a newsletter. It could be to download a white paper. It could be to sign up for an online application. Whatever the goals of the websites are, and it's your job to establish this with your client very clearly. We'll cover that in detail later on. Whatever the goals of the websites are, if you've got a hundred people that visit the website, how many of those complete one of the goals of the website? So if it's to sign up for the newsletter, how many people sign up for the newsletter? If five people out of every hundred that visit sign up for the newsletter, your conversion rate is 5%. So the success of the website is how many people visit the site, multiplied by what's the conversion rate of the website. So if you have 20 people and you've got a 5% conversion rate, then one of those people will complete the goal. The images underneath show that when you've got any number that's a factor of two other numbers, that means that you multiply one thing by another thing, the result of those two numbers can be visualized as a rectangle. In the first example, Traffic, you've put a lot of effort into traffic and not so much into conversion. So you get traffic of 10, whatever that means, and a conversion rate of 2. You multiply those together, you get 20. When they're a bit nearer, traffic of 8, conversion of 4, you get 32, or something like that. But when, if you spread that effort across both traffic and conversion more equally, then you, you're getting less traffic, but you're getting more conversions, and you're getting an ideal result. So... What this is saying is that you need to focus on both areas. You need to focus on traffic and you need to focus on conversion at the same time. You could have the most amazing website in the world that's just really powerful and compelling and wonderful. But if nobody visits it, it's not going to generate any success. At the same time, you might have a website that gets loads and loads and loads of visitors. But if the conversion rate stinks, you'll get no success. So you've got to have both. The fundamental principle that, that I want you guys to get is that what's basically wrong with websites today is that they are too narrow. They don't do enough. And at the same time, if you look at it another way, they try to do too much. And let me try and explain that. This is going to be the last principle in this presentation. This idea will really run through all of the work that we do. Okay, so let's imagine that you're at a party. Here's a picture of a party. And during the course of the evening, you, have, you speak to 12 different people, all of whom could use your services. They're all looking for a website, or they need something website-related. Okay. Now, some of those people may have a website before, some of them will have you know, experience, some of them just won't know a clue, some of them, you know might not even think they need a website but once they, you speak to them they realize actually well you could achieve what you want to do online you don't have to print off a lot of brochures or something like that right 12 different people 12 different contexts during the course of the evening how many different conversations are you going to have with those 12 people you're going to have 12 different conversations but most websites today have a home page and then they have a page for each product or service that they offer. And then they have a contact us or shopping cart or something to convert. If you think about it, you've got a home page. And that home page is trying to have a conversation with all the visitors that come to your website. That's not going to do a great job. That's like going to a party 
and saying, have, and trying to say, hi, welcome to the party. I'm going to tell you about the way I do websites. And your conversion rate is not going to be very good because it's not, it doesn't apply. It's not relevant to all of the people that, that need your service. So you're going to have very low success. And that's the problem with websites today. Here's what most modern websites look like. This is a Swiss Army knife. So it's a pen knife that's got a bunch of other tools attached to it. You know, really, really get this, this picture into your head and keep it there because a website that's got a home page and it expects the home page to do the job, all the jobs that it needs to do, is like a Swiss Army knife. It's got a, a knife, but it's not a very good knife. It's got a saw, it's got a file, it's got a screwdriver, it's got pliers, it's got scissors. It does all of these things, but it does none of them very well. And this is very, very important for traffic in particular. And it's also very, very important for conversion. And that's what we're going to go on to talk about next. Mm -hmm.